what we're shooting for is this muscle right, there's a muscle right here, this is called the trapezius, right through here. And then there's another big muscle that comes down through here, that's called the latissimus. We would like to stay off the latissimus if we can. This white stuff is a sheet of fascia. It's not reactive, it won't contract. So what we're trying to do is stay off of these muscle fibers. So what we'd like our panels to do is go about two inches off the spine, make, let the contact come off in the back, make constant contact through the middle, and then we want this to lift up this way and actually open up this whole area. The reason we're doing that is because the horse bends and when he bends the wither profile changes. So here's the horse straight, here's the horse bent to the right. So there's almost an inch of change. So what we're doing is we're, we're curving this off so that when the horse is bending it doesn't dig in. Okay. If we drop this down this way we start having problems. Okay, so, on the panels you just made, you, you put the panels on like this. And that's going to get that into this muscle, and it's going to make it so the horse can't retract his back leg. So we want to keep them up here so they're oriented literally like that. Okay, on a really flat-backed horse, the panels will almost look like a ski where it just bends up right at the end. On a narrower horse, it's going to bend out this way more. So what we're trying to do is stay off of this muscle and these muscle fibers down there. So open in the front, okay, pressure through the middle, open in the back. If we do this, that's going to make the front of the saddle want to drop. We're going to be onto that muscle and we're going to start interfering with the motion of the leg.